All right, so lately in the news, I've heard a lot about um, a zombie snake in North Carolina. Um, and there's been a few news articles. Uh, it seemed like it spurred from one, which were basically like officials warn of zombie snake, four foot long zombie snake in North Carolina that plays dead. Um, and they talked about, you know, it potentially being venomous, but essentially harmless. Um, but it wasn't the greatest news article or uh, news segment because it kind of sensationalized uh, these really harmless snakes called Eastern hognose snakes. And I actually have one right here. Um, <clears throat> so this is a uh, maybe three plus foot individual. Um, so uh, this is the Eastern hognose snake. Right now it's doing one of its threat displays, which is to inflate itself with air and hood up somewhat like a cobra. You can see oh, here. See what it just did there? It butted its head into me. It did it again. That's called a bluff strike. Um, and it's actually not even opening its mouth. It's just doing that to, uh, to look like it's trying to bite me. Um, in its mouth, it does have fangs. It is mildly venomous. It's a venom that wouldn't really be particularly harmful to people. Um, uh, but it would cause some swelling, although they really don't ever bite, um, which is something that the these news articles and news segments didn't really make clear, is they are literally one of the most harmful snakes around. Um, the reason that they call them, you know, in the news article, zombie snakes, is because part of their defense display, which starts out like this, ends with them writhing around and playing dead. So, um, I don't normally do this. I don't like to do this because I don't like to stress them out. These are really often beautiful snakes. They, they range from this charcoal color uh, to completely jet black, or they can be um, anywhere between this and bright, bright red or orange with strong, dark blotches. Um, and I can show some segments of other ones I've found that are much more vibrant like that. This guy in particular is, uh, is pretty dull, but still an awesome looking snake. You can hear that loud hissing. A lot of people think that these are harmful venomous snakes. If I provoke this snake enough, it's gonna start playing dead. Um, I'm gonna take some pictures with my camera and then um, show you a little bit more about the defense uh, display of this really, really cool species. All right, so uh, you can see it's a relatively large snake. It could be intimidating if you didn't know that it was harmless, especially with that really arrow-shaped head. Now, as I explained before, I really don't ever do this, but I'm going to intentionally see if I can make it play dead just for demonstrational purposes in this video. Um, I'm not gonna try excessively if it doesn't just go after touching it a few times then I'm probably just gonna leave it alone and if we find another one, maybe that one will play dead or I'll just include footage of a different one playing dead from one that I found in the past. So I'm gonna touch it like this. And we're gonna see what happens. All right, so it's about to... Uh, it's getting close. All right, so here we go. It's about to go. No, this one really doesn't want to go. All right, so look, it's kind of about to start playing dead. So this is what it starts to do. Starts to kind of curl up like this. This one's kind of going in between. Um, but basically they'll flip over like that. This one doesn't want to fully go into it. That's gaping a little bit. 
All right, so here we go. Eh. Yeah, this one's not really going for it completely, but see, they'll musk on themselves. They open their mouths like this. Um, I really don't normally encourage them to do this. Um, but as you can see, they open their mouths, lay on their back, try to appear dead. And, uh, <laughs> really abnormal behavior. Um, but they'll kind of just writhe around. This one's not, this is what one, when it's completely dead, will look like. But usually they stay still. And it's really hard to get them to be undead once you've made them dead. This one doesn't really want to fully commit to it. Each individual is a little bit unique. Um, I'm just going to let this one go because um, I don't like to harass them excessively. Uh, you know, in this video, I, I touch this snake a lot more than I normally would. Just for demonstrational purposes, just to show that this snake is really, really harmless. Um, beautiful, beautiful snake. Would see that pointed nose right there. This one has a little bit more blunt of a nose than others, but they use that pointed nose to just burrow down into see the sandy substrate under this under this trail here that he was on. Um, they use that pointed nose to dig down into the dirt here and dig up toads. They spend a lot of time underground. Very, very beautiful, harmless, and unique snakes. Um, that, you know, deserve <clears throat> all, res you know, all the respect they do. So, you know, now he's kind of doing his floppy dead thing. Oh yeah, see that? He's like, I'm dead, I'm dead. But he's not really fully going into it. Um, usually they just kind of writhe around and once they're done, they're done. Um, anyway, I'm going to put this snake back. Look, now he's hooding up and trying to slither away. I'm going to put him back exactly where I found him and then uh, keep looking and see if I can find more. Whew. All right, well, uh, I just got out of some very mosquito-infested woods, but um, I can still see the mosquitoes banging on the window of my car. Anyway, uh, we didn't find any more hog noses. It was pretty... Uh, I don't want to say unlikely because um, I had a feeling that they were out later today and then the rain drove them uh, subsurface, but I basically flipped that one under a rock because it started raining and I was just kind of flipping for milk snakes and then uh, got surprised by that hog nose, um, even though I went out with the intention of finding one. Uh, so that one, when I let go, let it go, it, uh, kind of stayed in the playing dead phase. Um, and the reason they play dead, like, uh, you saw that one do is because they want to evade predators like, um, you know, for an example, a fox or a coyote or whatever eats hog noses, uh, potentially a bird of prey or something. And... I don't know why it works, but for whatever reason, uh, playing dead like that and the combination of hissing, hooding up, inflating themselves with air, gaping, like uh, covering themselves with musk, writhing around pretending to be dead, somehow that helps them escape from predators. Um, usually what happens is um, if one plays dead, you need to sit there and wait quietly until it thinks that you've gone. And, uh, sometimes for a really long period of time, sometimes so long that I don't even wait for them to, you know, come back. I just, uh, put them, you know, covered under something, uh, while they're still flipped onto their back. Um, and they will kind of come back to life and that's when they'll make their getaway. So they're doing it to, I guess, find an opportunity to escape, um, and somehow it works, but, uh, it's really kind of a shame 
when the news does that. I know that these news articles weren't necessarily like bad intentioned and they didn't paint the snake deliberately as uh, a monster, but when you see titles like officials are warning of, you know, like North Carolina officials are warning of zombie snake or four foot long zombie snake and it's like okay what officials are warning anybody about this snake like zombie snake really you know um and four feet long which is like the max length that they get um kind of ridiculous and exaggerated i'm sure it's just how they get views um but completely harmless snakes really cool um and important parts of these ecosystems um and really pretty rare snakes, so you, you don't have high chances of running into one, and they have very, very specialized habitats, um, and only come out during certain times. So um, if you'd wanna see one, you'd almost have to try to. Uh, and if you aren't trying and you see one, you're pretty lucky. So uh, that's pretty much it. I think um, this video is gonna be inserted between the uh, North Carolina videos got about two more of those coming out um just to take a break from those um i'll get the north carolina the next north carolina video out later this week um or a couple days from now um and i should be regularly posting uh and yeah just uh keep an eye out for those videos thank you for watching